Welcome to the Transform Drawing Unit. You will be drawing an everyday item like the scissors and then thinking of something unusual it can turn into. It's possible that your object may transform shape like this fun paintbrush. We will also be focusing on how to do value and create form in a work of art using pencil. To get started, you'll be choosing something from my bin of everyday objects. It might be something simple like a crayon or something more complicated like a stapler. Whatever you choose, make sure it's something that inspires you. I've decided to draw this fork. And when we're looking at an everyday object, we want to kind of think about proportion. So I notice that the top of this is about a third of the whole fork. So I'm going to be drawing realistically in this box. And so I could plan it out by thinking about, OK, is this how long the top of the fork is? And is this how long the handle is? And before I even make a mark, imagine what is that going to look like in my square? And then I'm going to be moving my pencil slowly as my eyes look at this shape. I notice this is symmetrical and there's a slight notch. And of course, every object that is in here will have some different characteristics. So you need to look at the object you have and decide what do you notice. There are three tines and this middle tine is a little wider. So I will carefully draw that. Same with this, I'm going to be looking carefully at how the handle bumps. And if your object is symmetrical, a fun trick is to put this upside down and then sometimes you see your drawings differently and you'll notice where you need to adjust your lines. As I'm drawing this, I'm looking at the negative and positive space of the fork. As I'm drawing the handle, I'm trying to get the basic shape and it's still symmetrical. So I'm looking back and forth as I draw over my lines for the fork. Now I'm noticing some of the small line detail on the edge of the fork and I'm putting in all of those. Your object might have um, bristles if it's a brush, it might have lines if it's the flashlight or labels. So look carefully at that other detail so that you get all of those um, details that make your object recognizable. So I've got my drawing done, but before I start shading, um, you should stop and do this worksheet. So you'll notice a lot of these have a similar um, shape to some of our everyday shapes. So this is basically a cylinder. And then these have um, cylinder type shapes on their handles. And then the top of these, of these two, is actually more like a cube. So depending on what object you picked, you will see some of these basic forms in your shading. So this will be a different video to look at. Um, once you've done that and you've practiced um, shading really smooth, um, I'm going to be using probably like a lighter um, value here. And then I'm just going to start shading. And since this is metal and it's smooth, I'm going to do my best job of shading this so that this also looks smooth. So that means light, even pressure. And then it's also a, a reflective surface, which is a little tricky, as I see like a white highlight here because it bends. So I could try to show that. It's kind of a advanced skill. It will take a while to shade this in. Pencil shading takes time. So be patient, do your best. Um, when I'm in this area though, I could show a little difference between the ridges of the handles. So if I shade like dark to light, then I would see that those edges are standing out. Uh, 
I'm close to finished and what I wanted to show you is that here I was shading just light gray but I'm starting to lose some of my detail so with some of these it's helpful like if I just go back in and I use a slightly heavier line it'll bring that detail in and some of the sketchiness of my line will look like I've shaded the edge of that um, spoon and then here there was kind of a rose shape almost like a little leaf or crown. So if I just put a little darkness on the edge, that'll help make that look like it's kind of popping up. So once you're done shading, go back and look and see, do I need to darken some lines to show off the detail? Here we go. The second part of this drawing is to transform your object. So I've got this great fork, and now what is it gonna become? I could put a face on it and turn it into a creature. I could um, turn it into a broom. I could turn it, I could have these bend and become something else. It could become a roadway if I have this become a bridge. So think about um, your object, and then in this space, you're gonna be drawing your object. We should be able to tell what it was, but if you need to stretch and um, change your object, that's fine, as long as we still see some basic parts of the original. Have fun.